well my friends back here with the Kong head 6x6 build project I got the body finally painted and squared off and it's looking sharp my friends very sharp as you can see here now I painted the body shell in a gloss black then I went back with some silver metallic painted the grill the front bumper turn here on the side I did the fender wells the gas tank and the bar right here, the little roll cage bar. And I'm actually very proud of myself because I actually did all this by hand. I brushed all this in. And I didn't really tape anything off because just this body shell having so many body lines, it's hard to you know really work that tape around these areas that I needed. So I, I painted it by hand. Now, I'm not a professional painter, you know, by no means. I did get a little heavy on some spots, but not too bad and it's actually pretty good as you see I also attached the uh, the chrome items on there the smokestack the air breather on there and then I also applied some stickers not too much stickers because I didn't you know want to go overboard that's one of the things I'm not really a sticker type of guy I like uh, my vehicle having some stickers but not too much where it overkills like here in the picture that's just to me overkill on the graphics so I put a little bit of the graphics on there like the Kong head uh, logo there as you see there in the uh, picture it's got this little animated dude there grabbing it so I cut him out of it and just kept his hand there and uh, like the rocks and stuff like that you see right up there on the front I only put just one right there coming off the grill which kind of matched it pretty well I put the six wheel drive on there the G601 sticker for the chassis uh, six by six on both of the fender wells, and of course the uh, tail lights, and then a little Tamiya uh, uh, sticker there, and up here in the front just saying Kong head, and then Tamiya. So uh, yeah, but it turned out very well. The black, silver, and chrome definitely went well together. It's always a good color theme to go with on a truck or on any car body, really, and it just turned out really sweet. Now, all I got left now on the project is to hook up the electronics, throw in my RC sound system. Yes, the sound system. As you guys know, uh, here on the channel, I like to run my RC sound unit in there to give a more realistic engine sounds to my vehicles. And so I had to hook that up, which I'll be showing that in the uh, next video of the electronics installing and talking about that sound system as well. So, uh, yeah, so I wanted to get out here and give you an update on the build project and how well it's going and um, just one step closer to getting this thing out here now check this out right here <laughs> I still have a lot of the uh, the tree parts uh, I have a lot of parts a lot of the you know the trees the tree part thing whatever you call them tree parts I still have a lot of parts because a lot of them are basically the same parts uh, there's like I think three of the number C uh, tree parts that are just all basically the same uh, for the vehicle. So uh, a lot of extra parts in case I wanted to do something with. Now I also did away with the back bumper and the front bumper because the front bumper is supposed to be the spring loaded one and I just didn't really like that because if I'm gonna use this vehicle for, let's say for crawling or you know hitting the trails, I need to have the clearance ability in the front to crawl over whatever and I feel that bumper was going to kind of get in the way so I took that off but it made the vehicle look a lot better my friends as you see just a lot more better <laughs> but uh yeah so not too far away it's just you know like I said got to install electronics and uh this vehicle will be ready to roll so uh yeah so thanks for watching and I will see y'all in the next video of the Kong Head 6x6 project thanks for watching